Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to day number three of 30 Days of Gratitude. Each day this month, I'm going to share what I am grateful for. And today's video is going to be a little different because this is going to be kind of what I'm grateful for and a response video to the recent Trisha Paytas video on Halloween entitled, Roger Bart is a Cheater. Um... This inspired me to share my own story back in fall of 2011, just before I met my husband. I had my own version of Roger Bart. See, his name was Brian McGovern, and he was younger than me. Well, he was kind of pseudo-dating my ex-roommate at the time, and my ex-roommate was like a total bitch to him, cock-teasing him, treating him like shit, spending his money, and just... Just being flat out just nasty to him. And all that time, I thought he was a really good person. And I kind of developed feelings for him because, well, I, I guess in some sort of twisted way, I felt sorry for him. So my ex-roommate, after stringing him along for three months, decides to dump him in my lap. And I'm like, woohoo, this is my chance to show Brian what... A real relationship can be like so I was very nice to him I treated him well I even paid half when we went out on dates you know just to let him know that not all women were gold digging soulless bitches and well the whole time what I didn't realize is that Brian was a fucking piece of fucking shit and the real test didn't come until his mask finally fell off. You see, him and I weren't very serious and weren't really in a committed relationship, but I was slowly falling in love with him because I really wanted to believe that he was a good person. And one weekend, he went to this event where he hooked up with a girl and... It was one thing for him to hook up with the girl because we weren't totally serious yet, but it was another for him to hook up with the girl without any sort of protection. And that was what really bothered me because it put me at risk for STDs and all that, and I'm just, like, really devastated. And I confronted him, and I was like, listen, how can you fucking do this to me? I don't... I don't care that you had sex with another girl. We're not really exclusive, but did you even use protection with this girl or what? And he just wouldn't answer. And then before I know it, he's like engaged to be married to her. And I just felt so fucking betrayed. And I was emotionally devastated. So I was like crying for like a whole week because I spent like, six months getting to know him and if he had just let me know that he was not emotionally invested in me this would have saved me a lot of heartache I think now as with the Trish situation Trish if you're watching this I know this guy was a motherfucker I know he was a piece of shit I know from experience but Honey, I have watched you from the very beginning, and you have manifested so many good things with your life. And this guy is, I know it's going to hurt like hell right now, but this guy is a blip on, going to be eventually a blip on the radar in many years to come. You're going to have a very happy relationship. You're going to probably have a child or two. You're going to have a very happy, loving relationship. I, I can see that for you because you manifested so many good things for yourself. And you're a very beautiful and talented young woman. And if any dipshit doesn't want to see that, then he doesn't deserve you in his life. So Fuck Roger Bard. He is a dick. And you know what? There's a special place in hell for people like him and Brian McGovern. So, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, Trish, if you're watching this, just, just know that this is just a little blip on the radar. And you will get over this. And you will heal. And I know it hurts like hell, honey. But, but you got this. You really, really do. And I just want to say... You know, eventually you're going to be grateful that he's no longer in your life. I know that I am no 
longer, I no longer have Brian in my life, but I am thankful for every day that I didn't, you know, stick around, that I actually moved on, because, you know, I realize now he wasn't a very good person. Like, someday you're going to realize, even though you know that Roger Bart is not a good person, you're going to realize and look back years later that, Wow, you're going to think to yourself, wow, he really was a piece of shit. And you know what? He is a piece of shit. So anyway, Trish, I hope you're watching this, and I hope that you're getting through this okay. Because I, I know what that's like. And I, my heart really breaks for you. And, honey, you're going to get through this. So be grateful this motherfucker isn't in your life. Um. So anyway, that is it for day number three of 30 Days of Gratitude. Leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you are grateful for, and I will see you beautiful people in the next video.